hey guys welcome to my channel in this video I will show you how to make a homemade battery using only copper aluminum and chlorine finish the video until the end to know how as you can see we have a copper tube here at least six inches long and aluminum plate three and a half inches long this is a copper tube as the positive and the aluminum plate as the negative or anode while the copper is the cathode and we have here a plastic container five plastic container because we're going to end this one is an LED you can use three six volts LED as you can see I already uh, attached wires to its materials okay I use a riveter a blind rivet to secure the connection of the wire in this way we can make sure the connection will be tight because chlorine is a very corrosive chemicals and there you go now we are going to place one copper and one aluminum in each container in order to prevent touching each other we need to put a separator to the copper tube in this case I will use only a cloth this is a cotton cloth all you need to do is wrap around the cloth to the copper tube in order to prevent touching each other between copper and aluminum do the same thing or do the same procedure to the rest of the cells okay so we got the second one and this is the third one just wrap around a cloth to the copper tube in order to prevent short circuit now we are on the fourth one let's do the same procedure until you go to the last plastic container okay so there is just an excess cloth so I just need to cut it because it's too long and there you have it guys now we have five cells five containers now we are going to connect all the wires in series connection series connection is from negative to positive from the aluminum to the copper to the next container okay but first we need to leave this open that negative that long black wire we need to leave that open because that will be our negative output later you will find out so just connect uh, positive to negative positive to negative okay then positive to negative until you reach the last cell okay as you can see I need to remove the longer wire because that will be our uh, end and connect the positive to negative so now we have two open wires the black one and the red one that is negative and positive now we got a series connection this is five series and we're going to connect to the LED this time you need to connect positive to positive and negative to negative <coughs> remember guys positive to positive and negative to negative 
then we're going to tape this using an electric an electrical tape later I need to secure this uh, five container because they are uh, falling down so what I'm going to do here is just uh, wrap this with an electrical tape to hold them together Okay, so I'm just uh, wrapping around an electrical tape in order to hold them together and there you go now we're going to uh, insulate all the connection to cover the exposed wires in order to prevent short circuit and also all the connection in series should be insulated And we're almost done. And there you have it, guys. Now we're going to fill each container with chlorine. You can also uh, use chlorine powder. But in this case, I use a liquid chlorine. This is Sun Rocks. It is also called blitz to make the white shirts or stain disappear. This is what we're using in the laundry. Just to make uh, be clear, this is our everyday household uh, chemicals that we use. And check this out, guys. To the last container, there you go. The LED light up. So if I, were, if I were going to put more chlorine, the LED will become more brighter. Anyway guys, uh, this uh, DIY battery or homemade battery will last up to 2 to 3 days. Now we are going to check the voltage output. And let's see how many volts this homemade battery generates and we got 6 point uh, 12 volts 6.14 well that is a good sign milliampere or the current of this uh, it's not too high uh, around only 200 to 300 milliamperes now we're going to test this into a dark area okay and there you go this is bright enough to lighten up your room or even on your kitchen so there you go guys this can be used during emergency or brownout please don't forget to uh, subscribe hit like and share this video thank you for watching everyone and have a great day